back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the E93 M3. So we're going to be installing a wind booster throttle pedal response uh, device that's going to help us get a more sporty feel when we push the pedal. We're going to try it on an E93 M3, so the V8 engine. We'll see if it makes the car feel any faster. It's definitely not going to add horsepower, but if it makes it feel faster, then I'm all for it. So this is the product that Wind Booster sent us, and it is compatible with Android and Apple devices. It comes with your instruction manual, the wires themselves, which is a, a plug and place kit, so it's very easy to install. It also comes with two zip ties, a screen here with a double-sided sticky tape on the back so you can mount this anywhere you'd like. Okay, so I have the uh, carpet on the floor mat removed. We need to take this off with a pry tool of some sort and just pry that and there's a little screw underneath that we need to remove to take this pedal out. Just pull straight up and then it'll come right off of its mounting point right there and this is probably a good time to vacuum as well since there's a lot of dust here. So I got the cord out. It is um, two little buttons on the side. You just squeeze them both and you pull straight up and out. Now we're going to go ahead and fit that plug and play wire. Plug one end to here and then one end over here. And all you have to do now is just kind of tuck these out of the way using the provided zip ties that they give you. And then we're going to find a way to fish this wire that connects to the main uh, screen up somewhere in the dash. So I'll show you guys where we end up with that. But let's go ahead and get this pedal back first. Okay, so I just finished installing it. And there's not a lot of space back there, but uh, there is enough to tuck it all the wires underneath. And then you can still push this all the way down as needed. And the rest of the wiring is over here, kind of tucked into this section of the trim so that I can feed the wire through. And then going through this way allows it to come up to the top right here where I uh, use the double-sided tape to attach it to the center console. So this is what it looks like from further away. Overall, this took about five minutes to install. Very quick, very easy. And now let's go take it for a ride and see if there's any issues. Here you can change uh, the, mint, the mode with the M button right here. You can change it to Sport Plus, Race, Drag, Automatic, Valet Mode, Anti-Slip, Econ for gas savings and normal of course. So we're gonna start with normal first. You also have this button here on the side. If you go to sport, you can choose the intensity of it. So you can see the number on the right goes all the way to nine. So that's how sensitive the throttle input will be. Okay, setting off with the wind booster throttle mod. Right now we're in normal mode and everything honestly just feels normal. Stock like how it normally should. Yeah, so far it just feels normal. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bump it up to sport now. Woo. Oh, I'm so afraid to, to floor it right now because the, the tires are chirping in the back every time I upshift. That was about like partial, really small partial throttle and it just felt so much faster. Wow. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I think you should get one for yourself. No matter what car you have, it'll suit it well because you can control it however you want. If you want to save gas or if you want to just go pedal to the metal. I mean, it, it allows you to do whatever you want and you can customize it to your liking. That's what I like about it. This is a little too sensitive. I'm going to probably bump it down like three notches, but yeah, this is impressive. I'm really impressed at how, how well it's handling itself so far. So it takes some time getting used to how to drive with the new throttle response. Um, definitely worth learning it and definitely worth getting and installing on your M3 or any car for that matter. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good afternoon.